In 2024, a lot of game companies seem to struggle with learning how to make a good game. So would you be shocked if I told you that there was a company who knows how to do exactly that? I'm talking about Shift Up and their upcoming game, Stellar Blade. Stellar Blade is a lesson 101 on how to make a game within 2024's climate. So let's get into the first thing, which is public reception. The CEO of Shift Up, I'm going to call him Kim, has expressed his love for video games passionately. If you go to any interview when they interviewed the guy, he is a very passionate. Like he even said that this is his dream on making video games. And overall, he seems like a really down to earth and chill dude. That's the most important thing that companies fail to realize is that you have to have a CEO that's into video games or is a gamer themselves. A lot of times they just have CEOs who are just don't know what's going on or they're very hands off or they probably haven't played a game since 1998 or a lot of them are just old crippled or they're just weirdos. But the CEO of Shift Up is the opposite of that. He understands gamers better than most CEOs and he's a gamer himself so he knows what works for a game and what doesn't. So it's a relatively rare thing and also another cool thing about him is spending his own money on everybody in the company and getting them ps5s so they can play stellar blade once it comes out i have never heard of a ceo doing that in my life let's get into another thing which is the demo of stellar blade the demo of stellar blade is essentially how you're supposed to do a demo showcases everything of a game but not everything of a game if you get what I'm trying to say. Kind of what Final Fantasy 16 did, but added a little bit more in terms of what you can do, like experiment with builds and see different outfits and try different things within the combat. And also you get a little gist of what the story is about. The music is great. The combat is fun. And even they have a little boss thing so you can fight against a boss and try out a different build so you can just see, hey, is this game really worth my time? Especially with build customizations. Essentially giving you enough to taste it. And they also added a little neat things within a demo like if you take off the main suit the game becomes harder it's it's pretty neat stuff it's pretty neat stuff it's a relatively short demo but it's very replayable which is a huge thing within demos a lot of demos are not replayable you play them one time that's it they don't have any options for you to try anything else or have replayable modes it's just story that's it you're done with this they offer some replayability which is fun for those who want to just continue to have the game and taste it until the release the third and last and most important thing pr slash marketing if you have been caught up even a little bit within video game news you already know that stellar blade has been in the limelight for months because of this right here essentially being called gooner the video game now you might think okay maybe the company might not want the game to be promoted as that however they lean into it so gooners have more of an incentive to play the game because it's like oh my gosh they're supporting my gooner activities and those who are hating the game will try to check it out so they can criticize it and think it's over sexualizing video game characters and then they get to play the game and they're loving the game and now they just pre-order the deluxe edition of the game. It's big brain marketing strats. Also, the best thing about the marketing thing is that I think I saw an IGN article saying that the CEO has never talked to a woman in his life and people found a picture of his wife and she's the character designer of the game. So that was funny. I feel like that was just a PR move from IGN in order to promote the game. I mean, <laughs> But yeah, the marketing team has been leaning into the assets and also leaning into the 2B stuff as well. Because remember, Nier Automata had that same problem. And when it came out, it was recognized as one of the best video game stories that people have played. So hey, this might be the same thing with Stellar Blade. We don't know. I have full faith in this game and I will be picking it up day one. So yeah, shorter on the video side. I'm trying to get back into things. I'm going to try to get this thing back rolling again. And... Yeah, also this is the new model. Hello. But yeah, make sure you guys go pick up Stellar Blade. It is a PS5 exclusive, of course. So uh, yeah, go pick that up. Anyway, I'll catch you guys in the next one. You know, sign off. Peace. You know,